Hello and welcome. My name is Ryan. I'm also known as RM2K Dev. In the last video, we created these really cool little animations for our game. Now, we've been working off the grid, so to speak. Uh, we've got really cool animations. We have physics collisions. Our game is really starting to come together. But what you'll notice is this isn't a scalable model to work in. Our project is going to end up really messy if we keep working like this. So this is going to just be a really quick video on showing you guys how to clean these things up. What I tend to do is I tend to create groups. For instance, we have a group called Players, or, or actually in an RPG this would be called Party. So let's call this Party. Then we have another group inside of that called Hero. We select all of our Hero Sprites and we move those into that group. Very simple, just like that. Now we can get rid of this. Then what I tend to do is I have another group, we'll call this Objects. Inside of this Objects folder, I'll have something called Nature and we move our sprites for nature inside of that. Now, this has already immensely cleaned up our project. It wasn't too messy to begin with, but roll with it here because this is going to keep our game very clean and very scalable. We do the same thing for for um, our object. So we'll create one called Party. Put our hero object inside of there. Then we create another group. We'll call this one Nature. We'll put our flower and our tree inside of there. Just like that. For our backgrounds, we create a group, we we'll call this environment, because we may end up adding stuff that's not an environmental tile set. We may end up adding buildings and structural tile sets and things like that. And for our rooms, I think for the moment we can leave rooms alone um, until we start to get a lot more maps in our game. Then we'll start to worry about adding groups for rooms. So once again, thank you guys for watching. Um, my name is Ryan. Follow me on Twitter, it's at rm2kdev. If you have any comments, please leave them in the video um, comment section on YouTube. Or, you know, just get, get back to me on Twitter. I'm always happy to help you guys out. So, thanks for watching and keep your projects clean and organized because it will save you a lot of time in the long run. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.